Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 343. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is, well, no one, because everyone is busy and some of them are at a con. Yes, it's just me again, solo. So yeah, let's just get into it, because we have a awesome news coming for us. Yes, so anyway, um, first up, uh, this is really cute, this is really cute, I like this one. And they say that art comes in many forms, and it's true with this one because a YouTube channel called Pancake the Pancake Artist, and what they did in their recent video is do pancake art of ponies. Yay! So the artist she did four characters, and that's Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershy, Twilight, and also Discord, and I really like this the way that she did the art is really awesome um have a flat pan use food coloring and what you call this batter to create the art and whatnot it's a really nice watch like i suggest that you guys go watch the video links are in the show notes and go check it out it's really fascinating and really relaxing and if you notice right the way that the artist kind of did the whole thing was quote unquote freehand, but if you notice on the pen there's marks where okay, this is where I should cover up and stuff and do a few things. But in the end it was really cool. It, it was really, really cool. Like I said, you guys should really check it out because it is a lot of fun. And the satisfaction of her flipping the pancakes after that, that was cool. That was cool. You know, I'm just going to check out what this artist has in her rose gallery of stuff. Oh, one day ago, she did more. I think she did the main six. That's awesome. So go check it out because uh, besides the ponies, she also did some Marvel heroes, some Simpsons, and We Are Bear Bear. So yeah, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And in the next news is Tumblr. Well, you know Tumblr. I know Tumblr. So let's not dilly-dally and let's get right on to it. Because as of December 17, Tumblr is going to purge every mature content blog. That's a good thing, right? Not really. Because it's a form of censorship that is not okay in the US. If I'm not mistaken, US has this freedom of speech kind of thing. The the First Amendment, was it? I, I forgot. Third Amendment. But still, you guys have that. And isn't doing this kind of bad Okay, I know the reason why I'm not going to get into it. But by doing this, you're essentially restricting content or restricting how your users are expressing themselves, especially the artists. Because I read your terms and service and whatnot, and it's not clear. It is very confusing in what it wants to do. And the funny part is the pictures that you're flagging are ridiculous. Something that hit close to home is our friend, Julie the Dragon. You know him. He's the guy that posts pictures of his toilet plush on vacation. And the thing is, his picture got flagged. And his blog is safe. There, There's no matured content at all. While I'm looking through the news here, a picture of Sesame Street got flagged. What ridiculousness is this? I understand the reason why, but the way that you're doing this is just ridiculous. But hey, there's Tumblr in a nutshell. They're trying to cover their butts. And well, <laughs> like they say, one way to fix a PC is to flash the hard disk and reinstall. Hey, I am guess they're doing that right now. And you know what? Let's go on to happier moods because in the last news... We got three new Pony Heartwarming episodes, yay! Except it's appearing in China before anywhere else. So, yeah, those three new episodes are The Great Escape Room, Mystery Voice, and Triple Pony Daria. So, I got no idea. Uh, okay, one thing I do know that this episode revolves fully around Heartwarming. Have I seen it? No, I, I tried clicking on the link and... It's all in Chinese. I don't read Chinese. So I got no idea. 
But it seems cool because from the screenshot, it it looks like our student six are trying to learn the values of heartwarming and stuff. And then、um, Rainbow Dash and Applejack are doing a thing. Pinkie Pie and Highland doing a thing. I don't know.、Um, I haven't seen it yet, so I got no idea.、Uh, if you guys have, that will be okay.、Um, may- maybe. Somebody in the QD links mentions something or some way to watch it. Yay! Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I-, I see a mega link down there, so、uh, I'll be clicking on that soon enough. But yeah, uh, that's the news for this week. So, oh, okay. Um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So my week has been rather. Dull. I、uh, did nothing new. Well, that's a lie. I did something new, but I'm gonna save that for the very end.、Uh, besides that,、uh, nothing out of the ordinary. I I didn't do any new fandangle thingy shopping and whatever or not. I did went to the movies last week. I think yes, I did, and I watched. What did I? Oh yeah, Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet. Yeah, wow, how could I forgot about that one? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, ah,、uh, I did watch that one. That was awesome. It was a good movie. It, it was fun. Uh, there's a lot of reviews out there, and my opinion on it, I like it. It's very heart touching, and I think they did that one episode. Uh, in season seven, was it? This was season eight, yeah. So season seven, episode twenty-four, uncommon bond. Yes, that's what I saw in this. Like,、uh, Rocket Ralph was a better uncommon bond, but once you really think about it, if you were given almost quote unquote two hours to work on a specific kind of episode, yeah, it makes sense. It would be better than uncommon bond. I bet if uncommon bond had. Two hours, time slot to work with. It'll be better. <laughs> yeah, but、uh, that's besides the point. But still,、uh, that's my eye for comparison on the episode. And yeah, in the end,、um, Rocket Ralph was fun. There was a lot of, I won't say a lot. There was a good amount of video game reference once they went into the internet. It was kind of cool too. I'm not gonna get deep into it right now. That will be. In the years end review where we do the movie of two thousand eighteen, yay! There's a lot. I think I've watched about eleven movies this year. So much awesomeness. And yes, the new thing that I've done recently is I'm playing the PS4 exclusive Marvel Spider Man, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's really fun and it's really streamlined. It's not really linear, but the things that you want to do are. There and you're free to do whatever you want. There's a cap that you have to get passed by、um, crossing the story mission, but I think that's a good borderline where you're not going to be overpowered. You're just at the right amount of strength and whatnot. And the game is fun. The game is a lot of fun. I would highly recommend you guys that have a PlayStation Four go buy it, especially with Christmas around the corner. It'll be a good Christmas gift for yourself to get, or for that one friend of yours or family member that has a PlayStation Four and doesn't have Spider Man yet. That'll be great. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Go buy and play it.、Uh, talking about Spider Man, probably next week I'll be going. I'll be watching、uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching that next week. So yay, much fun to be had. So anyway, <clears throat> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at thembsshow. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And you know what? I haven't really been pimping out my stuff that much because, well, I'm working on the show. So basically, if you do follow the show, you kind of follow me. But hey, I do other things. And if you want to kind of Stalk me around the cyber webs.、Um, I also have a Instagram account called Instagram dot com slash Norman Sanzo. I'm there too, posting pictures of food, <laughs> or my vacations, or stuff like. There's a lot of stuff over there, 
So go check it out. It's a lot of fun. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PolyvoLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. Sometimes we like to, well, segue to other stuff, like some shows from that one 3D ladybug thing. Yeah, we, we like to talk about Miraculous Ladybug. Well, I personally like to talk about Miraculous Ladybug. I'm not sure about the other two. And movies, yes. Uh, movies we like to talk about too. That will be there soon enough. So yay. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me and talking about the thank yous I would like to thank my son Black, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream and Lurker Cat. Thank you so much guys for the awesome support. So great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode. See ya!